Mark, I was wondering if you could tell us, uh, with the London card being canceled last minute, just how devastating was that for you, especially after putting in the time, the effort, not the not to mention the money into it. Yeah, it was very not nice to get obviously being cancelled, but I just take everything as it comes. I just you know took some time off and uh, just went back to get to training again. I was hoping to get another match up at some point, but I didn't know when, when I was fighting, so I was just hoping for the best. A lot of fighters have struggled to uh, put camps together. Some have trained at home. So uh, talking about that training, how has it been for you in terms of uh, dealing with the pandemic and the restrictions? Well, since, like I said, I, I carried on training because uh, I was there for, I was out in Holland for my camp for eight weeks. When I came back, I found out I wasn't fighting. I just carried on training. But I've got like a, a small team around me that it didn't really like affect me that much. So I, I carry on training with my team. And this was originally supposed to be against uh, Alan Patrick. So what sort of adjustments have you had to make for Raphael? Uh, Raphael, it was, I think it was somebody else before that, to be honest. Uh, I think, uh, what's his name? Jai, Jai Herbert was supposed to fight as well. And uh, that fight didn't go through. But this guy, I've, I've, I've trained in Holland. is a, a kickboxing gym. He's very good at it. understand how this guy fights. And uh, I've dealt with some guys who have a lot of pressure than he brings. And uh, so for this game, this fight, it's just me being free, being me, just, you know, going to have fun. And uh, last one for me, there are a lot of UK-based fighters taking part on the Fight Island cards, a lot of up-and-coming talent. Uh, do you think we're going to see another British champion uh, emerge soon? Now and now I do believe so, yeah, because uh, a lot of fighters are going like over to America, but nobody really doing it anymore. They all staying over and they all mixing up. So wrestling was bad, but I think we picked up on that, and uh, I, I do feel now we're gonna find a lot, we're gonna get a lot of champions coming out of England. Well, looking forward to it. Looking forward to your performance this weekend. Best of luck. Thank you. Our next question is from Gabriel Pingalangan with Dojo Drifter. Mark, how are you doing? I'm good, man. You can't really see, but I'm good. Uh, I'm good. I'm good. Glad you're doing well. So you fought all over Europe, and then in the UFC, you fought in the US. How does it feel to be where you are now, you know, days away from fighting on Fight Island? Uh, it, feel, it feels great. Uh, I've really been taking care of our as well, so uh, everything runs smooth, and uh, I've literally just focused on the fight. I'm just ready to go. Yeah, and you've had a lot of cancelled bouts. I think it's three cancelled bouts three, leading yeah. to fight. You were supposed to fight back in March. You know, how does it feel to be getting back in there in the octagon with all these delays and all the pandemic and everything happening? Uh, I'm just, you know, I'm just grateful to Dana White for, for, putting, for putting this through and uh, I'm actually having to fight. Even though this is happening, but I'm having to fight. I'm just grateful for that. But my, everything's going great. So I'm here and uh, I'm going to fight. Yeah, and do you watch a lot of tape of your opponent? Is that how you prepare for a fight? And have you seen a lot of tape on your, on your opponent? I've watched maybe two, two tapes, but then I, I started to leave that to my team to really uh, just to, to look at him and give me the game plan that I need. And uh, I'll go and try to, you know, implement the game plan. Yeah, so this is Dutch kickboxing versus Thai kickboxing this weekend. You're pretty confident right. Dutch kickboxing will come out on top? What, what, what type of kickboxing is that? Dutch kickboxing, because you no, said it's his, home. His. his kickboxing, I'm not sure what it is. I think he does Thai. Oh yeah, uh, he's yeah. Good. He's very experienced. He's, I think he's out of about two hundred fights. But mm -hmm. we're not we're not kickboxing. And we're not doing Thai. Here. We're doing MMA. So True. anything goes. And uh, I feel I've got a lot of different variety. I throw a lot of different things that it is not really used to. And uh, it's going to be a fun fight. Yeah, and I, I asked this to your opponent earlier. Do you think you'll be taking home that fight of the night bonus at the end of the day? I, I believe in that, yeah. He's, he's, a, he's a perfect guy for it. You know, he comes forward, he, he swings. So I believe, I believe I'm ready for that. 